I've graphed the likelihood and impact with different risk levels. We have this yellow line in the middle, which is your risk appetite. That's this little line. We have this green area, which is your target risk profile. In other words, it's the different points on this graph that we find to be acceptable. Finally, we have our risk tolerance. Our risk tolerance is a bit broader than our risk profile. We accept risks that are in our risk tolerance, but it's not the exact level we wanted. If we wanted 5% volatility, well, and our tolerance is towards six, but in fact, we really want as close to five as possible. You know, maybe five and a half is kind of pushing it. Six is still tolerable, and above that is not. I've seen this in different ways with, with thresholds, warning thresholds. For instance, for amounts of you know, cash held. If you're looking at a treasury function and you're saying that the minimum amount of cash that you're allowed to have in the organization is, you know, in a certain, let's call it subsidiary, is you know, 50,000 euros or dollars. If you are at 40 or you're at 60, you know, that, that's kind of you know, what you want. You basically want something between 40 and 60. You can tolerate as low as 30, especially on a short-term basis, but if it goes below 30, 30,000 dollars or euros in your cash balances, then you would have an issue. In fact, let's place a few risks here. I would have risks below the risk tolerance, which remember are lost opportunities. We'd report them as you know, business improvements. We have risks above our risk tolerance, which are very problematic, medium risks possibly. And we'd have risks above our risk capacity, really big, significant risks that we would really try to avoid. Thank you.